First time getting high story. <laughs> Living alone has been fun. <laughs> <laughs> what are some of my toxic traits? <laughs> I can't think of any. Hello YouTube, I'm back. Today's video is going to be a answering questions while high video. This was very requested. I also really wanted to film this video this week so that I could post a second video for this week for y'all. Here we are. I told y'all I was serious about this whole grind time YouTube stuff. So welcome. There's not much more to explain. I'm going to smoke. I'm not really going to do it on camera. I just feel weird smoking on YouTube. I could do it on like live on Instagram, feel fine. The second that I put up my camera though and I film it, I feel a little off. Toodaloo, be right back. I just smoked two roaches. I'm about to smoke one more because I am fresh out of weed. I feel like I just smoked too much. I forgot my coffee, but let me show y'all a little something, something. I don't know if that worked. <laughs> I have a coffee. I have a normal coffee. I don't, I'm not feeling that one. <laughs> okay, perfect. Okay, let's start the video. First question. Do you like living without your family? Uh, yes and no. So for most of y'all that don't know, I am 20. I moved out at 18. Small little backstory on that. I went to LA for three days. It's my first time going to LA. I went with my friends, Emmy, Chandler, and Annika. By the third day, why this finger? By the third, why did I have, why do I have to do this? By the third day, I decided to go view an apartment. <laughs> And I told my mom about it. She was not happy. She was like, no, you're not doing it. <laughs> and I was like, hey, yeah, I am. Viewed it, found a roommate through Snapchat. <laughs> and then within a month, I moved to LA. Um, hold on, business call. I just laid on the ground for like 25 minutes. <clears throat> <laughs> Come on guys, let's get down here. <clears throat> Back to what we were saying. Living alone has been fun. <laughs> okay, living alone for the first nine months was, that was so specific. Seriously, probably the first, honestly the first year. I haven't even lived here a year. <laughs> living alone for the first nine or so months was terrible i was also going through a lot mentally so it was just very bad timing it was whenever i i should have had a lot of people who love and care for me and vice versa around me because i really was going through it guys but i will say the past like two months which really is a long time 60 days has been great i'm starting to see the beauty in living alone i think the only reason i would get a roommate is for cost just because it's so fucking expensive here yeah i really do like living alone right now it's just lining up with where i'm at in life right now and i think that's where i find beauty in living alone i'm in a huge like soft loving feminine kind type of energy lately and living alone is keeping me sane <laughs> next question go to munchies when you're high talkies a hershey's bar milk chocolate no nuts not a nut gal, but it has to be Hershey's milk chocolate. Hot Cheetos, jalapeno chips, pasta. Oh, mm, mm, mm. pasta, so good. Mm. I was so hungry while filming this. <laughs> yeah, soda, anything and everything. Cinnamon rolls, like a Cinnabon cinnamon roll or even the homemade ones. What's your preferred way of smoking? Probably joints, honestly. I don't mind bongs either, just I have a much smaller tolerance when it comes to smoking out of a bong than I do with a joint. What's your sexuality? I am straight. How long have you been smoking for? And consistently smoking? Five to six years. Consistently smoking though would definitely start around six months ago. How much money was it to get your lips done? So the first time that I went it was 500 and the second time that I went was 400 and then the third time that I went it was 500 So in total, $1,400. Damn! Uh, that's actually pretty good though, I feel like. Don't like that I just got a citizen notification. Oh fuck. First time getting high story. <laughs> sorry mom and dad. <laughs> well, sorry mom, because I don't think she knows. Ooh, wait, is this gonna get my dad in trouble? Nah, maybe she does know. Well, 
mm, yeah, I'm older now. Okay, okay, okay. I don't know why I'm talking to like thin air <laughs> instead of just looking at the camera. I'm asking questions to myself in a different direction. <laughs> Basically, I was a freshman in high school. Oh, wait, I can't tell y'all. I will get in trouble. <laughs> Sorry guys, oh, awkward, awkward. This is so awkward. What's the dumbest thing you did while high? Sometimes, well, not sometimes. A lot of the time when I smoke, I go high, or <laughs> I go live on TikTok. Not while I'm smoking, but after, just while I'm high. Sometimes. A lot of the time, whenever I first started going live while high, this was when I had a lower tolerance. Whenever I would smoke, I would get blasted and I could just take like three hits and, oh yeah, I'm good. Yeah, this, was, this wasn't that long ago. <laughs> I was cooking while I was on live and I had this steel bowl. Was it steel? Metal. I had this metal bowl. It had some sort of something in it that I needed to heat up in the microwave. I'm sure y'all already know where this is going. So I'm sitting on live. I put it in. No one mentions anything wrong with what I'm doing. So I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm good. I put it in. I start the thing for a minute and within two seconds, it was like, like sparks flying everywhere. I was so high, I was scared that if I touched the bowl, it would electrocute me. I touched it on live to see if it would electrocute me and it didn't. <laughs> because why would it electrocute me? That's probably the dumbest thing I can think of. <laughs> There's definitely more though. Dream places to travel. There's a lot. Greece would have to be number one. Beautiful. Paris. I want to visit Paris when I'm in love. It doesn't only have to be when I'm in love. Sometime while I'm in love, I want to go to Paris. Turks and Caicos. Is that how you say it? Bali. How's my camera about to die? We're back. I was just laying in bed and now I'm really tired. I probably need to smoke more. Time to pick it back up where we started. Why do pretty girls always end up with ugly men? Because, ooh, I'll tell you why, actually. This goes for girls and guys. You could be beautiful, handsome, whatever, but there could be so many other reasons why you're unattractive. Looks are cool and all, but are you cool? That's how I see it personally. What are some of my toxic traits? I mean, I have valid reasons for my toxic traits. I would say I get jealous easily. Yeah, yeah. But also, okay, okay, okay. Let me let me explain just a little bit. I have also always been put in situations to be jealous. Y'all know that one. <laughs> it's not funny. Damn, I just can't think of any more. <laughs> I can't think of any more. It's only because of my, it's just funny because like, of course I wouldn't be able to think of any more. I'm a self-aware queen, don't get me wrong. Let me give y'all the list to prove it. Jealousy, easily becoming dependent on my partner. I have worked on that though. I'm also not in a relationship and I've grown a lot since my last relationship. So I don't know. I could be very independent in my next relationship for all I know, you know? I'm just way different now about certain stuff. I'm needy. No, I'm not. I'm actually, no, I'm not. No, I'm not, because everything I've ever asked for is totally valid. I'm not the best texter, but that also depends because if I really like someone then I'm gonna wanna talk to them throughout the day at some point, you know? I have a great one. I'm either really outgoing and bubbly whatever, or I'm dead silent, <laughs> straight face in my own world. Ugh, I can only tell you all my toxic traits based off like past stuff because I feel like I'm none of these things now and being in a relationship now would just be different for me. Oh my god, I have a good one. <laughs> I hate to admit this too. Oh, looking at their social media. Oh, oh I don't even want to. Oh, it's so embarrassing because I feel like you only do that when you're not secure in that relationship. So it's like you feel the need to do that, you know what I mean? Otherwise, being in a healthy relationship. I'm gonna stop. Next. I feel like everyone's done that once though. Like, let's be honest guys, Pfft, you've checked. Like, come on. <laughs> oh, even in a secure relationship though, I'm like, what if I was just curious and I wanted to know like, hmm, who do you follow? You know, I feel like before dating someone, I would check their following just to catch the vibe. Is it mainly bitches? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> What's your love language? <laughs> I have a funny answer. All of them. I'm super lovey. It, oh, I can't help it. Like, not to be cringe or anything. I'm definitely a romantic. I just want to live in your pocket and, like, walk around with you, see what you're doing all the time. No, I'm kidding. Old Reagan. I'm very affectionate, I will say. Gift giving, physical touch, acts of service, all of it. Who inspires you the most? 
I'm like about to cry. <laughs> Honestly, my family. <laughs> this is so awkward. Um, miss them, love them. I will say most of everything that I do is for them. I'm gonna take a break check. <laughs> Back to the video. I feel like I need to smoke again. There's like nothing left. I will say, I do feel like crying makes you more high. Correct me if I'm wrong. I feel like that's a scientific something. Yep, definitely got some fire in my throat somehow. Favorite song to listen to while high. Let's see what my current one is. What else? Each high is a different mood. We love you. Five, four, three, zero, yeah. Please forgive me, Lord, about the hurt. I'm a second. 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 I'm Keep in mind, the bong is like this big. I'm not exaggerating. I wish I was. I'm still newbie with smoking. I don't smoke consistently at this time. I cleared it out and then <laughs> we were just watching a video of it the other day. It's so funny. Someone walked up in the background and they were like, whoa, Reagan, that was a lot. They were genuinely shocked <laughs> as I would be too if I wasn't already fucked up when I hit it. Right after that, the high basically immediately hits me. My friend and I go in the bathroom, we're like making videos and stuff. And they took a selfie just to be like, eh, whatever, like cute little friend selfie. And I'm sitting in the back like this. I thought I looked so normal too. And I knew I fucked up by clearing out the bong the second that I did it. She looks at the picture and then looks back at me. And she was like, oh my God. <laughs> I have never seen my eyes so red my face was all red and puffy i clearly was about to green out we looked at each other and we we're like yeah we're leaving right now and so i ordered an uber it got there in like two minutes we didn't even say bye to any of our friends we didn't bring any of the stuff that we brought there because we were cooking pasta. We didn't grab any of our cooking stuff. We just left. The story is not over yet. So of course, all of our friends are like, where the fuck did they go? And we're like, oh yeah, we went home. Like, Okay, so fast forward. I'm in my apartment. I'm like laying in bed and I'm watching some Disney show that's newer. I'm sitting in bed watching some family show and I'm eating out of a bag of Takis. Something just fell off when I was eating. Just intuition wise, I was like, mm, take a picture of your mouth. So so I open up Snapchat. Keep in mind, this is the second time something like this has happened to me. It's so gross. And of course, because I have a weak stomach, like even thinking about a hair while I'm eating, I have my phone in my lap. I pick it up, open up Snapchat, take a picture like this. There's this like black thing on my tongue. And so I run to the bathroom because something like this has happened to me before. There was no red chip in my mouth. I was a little freaked out. So I ran to the bathroom. I, I just started gagging and I spit it out and it was a bug, like a cricket type of thing. That's my second time having that happen. It was traumatizing. And there it is. That's my story. I don't even remember what the question was. <laughs> Next question. What is your favorite thing to do when bored? Sleep. Sorry, I don't have an interesting answer for y'all. <laughs> We're just gonna leave it at sleep. <laughs> what is the best advice you have for high school? My best advice would be to not take it too seriously because there's so much more life to live than in high school. <sighs> 
fuck it's so easy saying this now but i i i really went through it in high school just trying your best to not worry about fitting in or being popular just stay true to yourself stay as in touch with yourself as you can rather than other people because coming from experience you will not even talk to 98 percent of the people you knew in high school in my case it's like 99.5 if you could go back in time what would you take back honestly nothing i'm a strong believer of everything happening for a reason orange juice or apple juice i'm not gonna lie i am an orange juice gal which i know is very controversial i drink a lot of juice period especially like the minute made orange juice mixed with other flavors someone asked me would you ever get a pet in this current place that i'm in no but whenever i get a new place yeah quite possibly what to do when you're sick of helping people but don't want to stop helping at the same time the only advice i can give because I used to be one of those people, set boundaries and stick by them. It doesn't make you mean for having boundaries. If you could be any animal, what would you be and why? A lion. I'll let y'all figure out the answer for that one. I don't even have an explanation. I'm a Leo. Favorite cereal? <laughs> Probably life cereal, cinnamon flavored. I add like a cup of sugar, which is so bad, I know. Oh, but it's so good, so good. I'm, my mouth's watering. What was the first tattoo you got? Surprise, surprise. 777 was also my most painful tattoo i will say how do you know when you're ready to start getting your life together oh fuck. you just know i wasn't ready to like really get my life together until like two months ago i didn't take initiative until like a month ago how you know is whenever you start acting on it that is when you're ready biggest red flag in a relationship lying especially lying about small things because if you can lie about small things you're lying about everything and nobody can convince me otherwise i stand so firmly on that do you want to be in a relationship i don't yeah not right now i'm finally moving forward after a while of being standstill i just don't want to mess that up right now i think this is the perfect time for me to focus on myself and essentially become my own dream girl i would like to find love on the way but not right now i have a lot that i owe myself right now and i can't give myself to another person fully yet i'm just now like getting back on my feet after being down for so long i want to be the best version of me before i start looking for a partner to be that with what do your highs feel like for you i would describe it as just like a big fuzz just fuzziness all over my body that's how i feel just fuzzies how do you decide on which shoes go with your outfits? Colors. Always. Yeah, always. Colors. Do you ever feel like you're in a video game while high? Because me, motherfucking too. <laughs> uh, I don't feel like I'm in a video game when I'm high. I feel like I'm in a reality TV show. Every time I smoke with my friends, I always say that we should have a reality show because I just think we're so funny. <laughs> Favorite thing to do on a lazy day besides sleep? <laughs> Y'all know me so well. Take a bath. Oof. Oh, because then I can really relax. It's like a little hot tub, but you can lay down. Mm, I'm going to take a bath after this. What is your favorite weird snack combo that you think everyone needs to try? It's not even that weird, really. A Taki and a white cheddar Cheeto puff together. Mwah. Magical. Do you ever plan on moving back to Texas? I don't know, guys. I'm so focused on what's going on right now. I can't tell y'all any future plans because I'm so focused on the present right now. Living in the moment. Tattoo tour, real quick. We'll start with my legs. I have these tattoos. This one says they come. This one says they go. I have my hand tattoos. 1975, that's my dad's birth year. 1977, which is my mom's. This is teeth. Mac Miller portrait. A quote from his song, Best Day Ever. It says, no matter where life takes me, find me with a smile. Oh, fuck. The sleeves, guys. Then I have this butterfly on the top of my arm. This is a white Ferrari Frank Ocean tattoo. This says, I am enough. This is a fairy for my Mimi. On my spine, I have, y'all can't really see. It says, be patient, everything comes to you in the right moment. You can't really see this one either, but on my back, I have my hand holding a deck of cards, 777. I have this neck tattoo, it says, heavenly. My zodiac sign behind my ear, Leo, represent. Lastly, I think, I have this ear tattoo, and it's just flames. What is the best lesson you have learned since you lived in LA? Just because everyone else is doing something doesn't mean that it's right for you. That's where your morals and self-expectations and knowing your self-worth kind of comes into play. Your biggest goal to accomplish in 2023. I want to hit 100k before 2023. That's 
three months. Who are you closest to? I haven't really talked about this on social media, but I would probably say I'm closest to Isabel. She probably knows me the best out of anybody, good and bad. Actual thoughts on living in a content house. Be fucking for real. <laughs> when are you gonna start doing consistent uploads? Ta-da! Right now. Favorite fruit? Pineapple. Favorite Starbucks order? I have three. Iced caramel macchiato with extra caramel drizzle. Iced white chocolate mocha with sweet cream cold foam and whipped cream. And then lastly, a hot venti cinnamon dolce latte. Dolce, dolce, however you say it. Favorite wing stop flavor? Louisiana rub. Favorite perfume? I use Misty Dior and YSL Black Opium. Favorite chips? Jalapeno Lays. What's your favorite thing to cook? Y'all probably already know the answer to this, but pasta! I love Italian food in general. Have you ever gone through a breakup? If so, how long did it take to get over it? Still not over it. <laughs> Advice on how to get over someone. I tell you if I knew. Someone tell me. Guys, it's just because I'm a lover girl. Best way to deal with being lazy all the time. Self-discipline. Whenever I get really, really lazy, I just force myself to do something like make a YouTube video or go work out. Once I finish that task, I always feel 1,000 times better. The key to achieving most things in life would be self-discipline. When are you finally going to let us into your love life? <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> How do you feel about online dating apps? I don't know, honestly. I've never been on one. Well, I can't really give much of an opinion on that. How do you cheer yourself up? It always starts with a self-care day. I am also the type of person that doing things for myself makes me really happy. <laughs> the only person that really needs to appreciate you is you. Okay, this will be the last question. What are your biggest goals to reach in life? I say I want to do all of these by the time I'm 25. Be a homeowner, take an off on YouTube, be in a loving and healthy relationship, be mostly established wait i don't know i'm gonna have to make a dream board for my goals guys i'll post it somewhere this is gonna have to be some further discussion somewhere in my videos which means if you want to know you just gotta keep watching all right that's gonna be all for this video thank y'all so much for watching if you like this video give it a thumbs up make sure you subscribe keep up with me you know i do more than just youtube <laughs> i'll see y'all in the next video besties love y'all